we are on a backpacking trip. So the purpose of this trip, other than just to have fun, is a little bit of a gear shakedown for my bike packing trip coming up. Kind of taking most of the stuff that I'm gonna take bike packing, with the exception of bike tools, of course, but everything else, I've got my stove, my water filter, my sleep system, which I'll show in this video. And then also Dawson's first backpacking trip. I used to do a lot of backpacking when I was younger, but it's just one of those things that I really haven't done much with my family. So we are at Olino State Park, a little bit north of High Springs. There's a lot of trails here. You can mountain bike on them, but they're not really that good for mountain biking. But there's a primitive campsite that's about a three and a half mile hike in. So we're gonna take that, set up camp, and maybe hike for a little bit longer. But we're excited about this. It's a beautiful day. We were gonna do this a few weekends ago and the weather was not good for it. It was super humid, warm with a chance of rain. Today is lower humidity and it's beautiful. It's about 66 degrees out here. It's supposed to get down to the upper 40s tonight. Totally clear and it's a full moon. I love camping under clear skies and a full moon. It really just doesn't get better than that. So that is the Santa Fe River. If you're not familiar with Olino State Park, it's where the river goes underground and it comes back up where I kayak a lot. So this is the river sink area. Taking a little detour to check out the river. Yeah, please don't fall in. Always has to be a challenge. So this is the spot where the Santa Fe River goes underground. And it comes up about, I think it's like three miles away. Probably more than that. It's a really cool open section. So this is That's Old Bellamy Road that we just crossed. And so Old Bellamy, I've heard it went from Tallahassee all the way to Jacksonville. There's several sections that we do on some of our gravel roads. It's not continuous, not continuous in these parts. But man, it looks like it, there was a road that went all the way over to Pensacola. Maybe that was the old wire road. That's our trail. We're about a mile from our campsite. I'm really hoping there's good trees for hammock camping because all I have is a hammock for tonight. Dawson has a tent, one of my really, really old Kelty tents that I have not used in forever. A lot of trees here, so it should be all right. It's a little bit of a clearing by the lake. The only thing I've seen of the lake, I've never been there ever, is I watched a video of a guy camping there and I saw trees around it, so it should be okay. That's the thing about hammock camping is just got to make sure there's good trees, good distance apart. This trail definitely has a lot of variety. Had some really open sections and this section is very heavily wooded with a lot of palm fronds around it. It's still a lot of nice oak trees. We made it to our campsite. That's Sweetwater Lake, just this little lake out here in the middle of the woods. There's a little outhouse over here. Now to find a spot for the tent and the hammock. This is a good spot for the hammock. Those two trees are just far enough apart. So here's my sleeping setup. This is what I'll be using for my bikepacking trips. I'll probably go over this again on one of my trips, but I've got the Eno Profly XL tarp just because it was like super cheap. It's on sale for, I think I got it for under 100 bucks. All right, but this is the magic right here. This is the War Bonnet Ridge Runner. Kind of hard to see under the tarp here with the lighting, but uh, this is, I've mentioned this before, the best night's sleep I've ever had in the outdoors. 
So it's got a built-in bug net. We're gonna zip this open and show you inside. I love, I'm gonna do like a full review on this hammock because it's worth reviewing, but it's got side pockets. They call them, I think, saddlebags. Bridge style hammock, so you don't have to worry about finding the right position, getting diagonal in a you know gathered in hammock. I just can't sleep well in a gathered in hammock. Got an outdoor vitals pillow that packs up super small. And then I've got an outdoor vitals top quilt. This is super light, even though it's rated, okay, don't laugh at me, zero degrees. That's a zero degree top quilt. And I really, really like that top quilt. It's just incredibly com comfortable. And then underneath the under quilt that I run is the, it's made by Warbonnet. It's the Lynx under quilt. But I, I'm gonna do like a whole review on this hammock. So yeah, that's the, that's the sleep system. And Dawson is setting up this Kelty tent. As I mentioned on the trail, this thing, I, I, I got this thing before Dawson was born. <laughs> it's, it's, but it's, I mean, I haven't used it a whole lot, so it's, it's in good shape. All right, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go down to the lake and filter some water for dinner. All right. I'm glad I have a really, really good MSR water filter. A lot of pollen in this water. <laughs> See if we can get some of that pollen. That's not going to happen. Oh, well. oh, that looks yummy. Time to make some dinner. Had a good night's sleep. Just about got everything packed up and ready to hike back. We're hiking back and that was a really good gear test for a lot of the things that I'll be using for my bikepacking trip. I think the setup overall was great. The only thing that I'm gonna change is the pillow. So that Outdoor Vitals inflatable pillow was pretty comfortable, but it's not as comfortable as my Nemo pillow. I have a inflatable Nemo pillow that has some padding on it and that is just more comfortable and I have to have a comfortable pillow. But overall, I slept great. Dawson slept great. It didn't get that cold. Got down to about 50 degrees. It's about 55 right now. I I have that, that zero degree top quilt. It was a little warm last night. I have another one that's rated from 40 to 60. I have to add like 10 to 15 degrees to a sleeping bag rating. I sleep pretty cold. And so like if it says zero, I'm good down to about 20. That's why I got that zero degree because I've had it down below freezing and I was totally fine. I'll probably use the other top quilt, but I need to test it out. I, it's, I just got it. It was pretty cheap. It's an Eno, uh, I forgot the model, but it goes down, like I said, to 40 degrees. I need to test it in the backyard <laughs> before I take my bike packing trip. And then the under quilt is probably good. That's also a zero degree, but I, I probably could use that up to upper 50s, and then I'll just slide a, a little foam camping mattress. One thing I like about that Warbonnet Ridge Runner is that it has a double layer, so you can put a, a, a sleeping pad underneath it, and so it doesn't move around. And so if the temperature's warmer, I mean, if, if you're not familiar with hammock camping, you have to have <laughs> insulation under you unless it's like 75, 80 degrees. I'm serious, like even low 70s, you get cold. And I'll probably get some individual little stuff sacks. I used to do that when I backpacked a lot. They've kind of been used for other things or fallen apart over the years. So I had some plastic bags and I just like colored stuff sacks to keep everything organized, like toiletries and clothes and all that. Um, it's just much easier to find things, so yeah. Good little overnight trip, really quick, but good way to get out and test the gear for the bike packing trip coming up. That'll wrap it up for this video. A little different than my normal cycling videos, but it's all related. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.